Whoa. Okay, um, are we rolling? Are we ready to go? Okay, uh, all good? All good? You can roll me one. Take two. Okay, we're all ready to go? Good? God. Fucking boom boys. Get it out of my face! <laughs> so what is it like doing horror movies? Well, it is great because basically every horror movie has the exact same characters and everything. All you gotta do is pick a monster and then the movie is made for you. So, you see, you have the stoner. You have the slut. You have the jock. You have the dumb blonde cheerleader, and in my upcoming movie, Sergeant Slaughter, it is played by the beautiful Stacy. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? You have the minority. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is that shit? Yo, man, what are you doing with that camera, man? Why get that shit away from my hood? Get it out of here, Holmes! And finally, you have the nerd. But no matter how smart this nerd is, the car always seems to not be able to work. It's like the bad guy rushes in and sabotages the car just when the nerd needs to get away. I came up with this idea for such a slaughter because I wanted to create a new and improved horror. I was sick of all those zombie movies. I mean, when there's a horde of zombies after you, you don't run into the abandoned theme park with no means of escape or weapons to use against them. You pick up that 1887 shotgun and start shooting some zombies. And then once you've seen I Am Legend, every zombie movie is the same except you have a white Will Smith. So I wanted to so I decided to create this all-star cast called Sergeant Slaughter, and I think it's going to turn out pretty well. Working with a famous Hollywood actress such as Stacy is fantastic because she really lives the part. She fulfills the role of the dumb blonde so naturally. I believe in miracles. Where you from? You sex. She's beautiful. She adores the camera, and I can almost see an Oscar in it for her. No, I don't think I'm a dumb blonde. I can totally act. And look, I even completed this crossword in like, less than 20 minutes. You're actually meant to write the words in the spaces, not color them in. Oh. Uh, have you met my dog, Simba? Isn't he the cutest thing ever? One day, Simba, this will all be yours. She is perfect for the part. <laughs> yeah, she's a looker. I always wondered in horror movies why people just don't take their phone charges with them. I mean, it's, it's quite simple. When you're going into the demented woods, 
inhabited by this evil creature, you take your phone charger with you and you charge it up. You charge up your phone. Okay, I don't care that there's no signal. There is signal everywhere. Fucking get a new service provider. Please get a new service provider. Get the fucking boom out of my face. During the movie, I play a character called Jake, and he is the brave one who likes to check every nook, cranny, bump, light, ominous death portal that there is. I mean, like, at one point in the movie, I choose to go back to the killer's house, where he brutally murdered all of his victims, rather than the police station. All because I left a photo of my mum there. My mum who was like, when I was a kid, she died, and like, that's the only remaining photo of her. I mean, it's the 21st century. Get it right. Scan it. Can I get some fucking coffee? I need fucking coffee! Fuck! Here's your coffee, sir. The fuck is this? It's fucking decaf! Fucking ain't decaf! <laughs> Jake has a very calm personality. He's very assured and he knows what he wants. Uh, here's your answer. The fuck is this? The fuck is this? I'm sorry. <laughs> After writing so many horror movies over the years, I find that I just can't trust cops anymore. Because it seems that no matter how needy or desperate the victim is, the cops are always so unwilling to help. Ah! Tell me! There's a ninja star in my head! Ah! Yeah, yeah, there's a ninja star in your head. There's a fucking star! Hey, do you try to Oh, uh, you Asian yourself. I went there one time with my mom, yeah. I'm dying! That's your mom, by the way. She's, she's quite good. I mean, yeah. she's a bit annoying. Yeah. Please help me! I'm dying! Ninja stars! I've known, I've known you since, like, prep, right? Are you gonna yeah. listen prep. to me? So, since prep, you've been fucking it. Oh, okay. We need this shit. Come on. We need this shit. She's a beautiful woman. Let's see. There you go. Get. No, oh, help! Come back! No, just help me! <laughs> oh, by the way, I know we've gone through a lot, but just to sum up, I am streaming away from horror movies. I want to make a horror movie that touches the audience in a deeper way that has never been done before. And to do that, we need your help to make this timeless style of movies. Live on forever. So bring your friends, bring your lovers, bring your parents if you got the balls, and come see this movie because it will blow your mind! Hey John, we're shutting it down. Shutting down what? The whole project. You went 15 million dollars over budget. Uh, can, can we cut? It was still, still rolling. Cut, cut it. We're, we're still cut, cut, cut it off. Cut still... it off, cut it off! Said